messages after. Thank you, Patriza. We have abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. So comment those beautiful unicorns and those beautiful rainbows to claim the beautiful abundance. And this is one of my favorite um, messages because someone, when I was picking my logo, Leo, I feel like I got to share it with you. Uh, someone had told me that a group of unicorns is a blessing and that is an abundance of unicorns, right? So we have a huge, beautiful community here. So we like to manifest and bring this in together. So just knowing that your rainbow is here and that means that the storm is clearing and the sun is coming out. So just know that the positive days are ahead of you and we got support here for you as well. Ask for help get more rest and nurture yourself as this beautiful pegasus is flying you're safe you're safe here i mean paying attention to be able to kind of give yourself and sacral energy here too right that's the security and safety maybe in your home or in your environment that this is asking for help so for anyone who's really struggling with their mental health or need professional intervention please connect with the list that we have it's a resource list called cold purple and you can connect with the professionals in your countries so that they can help you better but for others of you it's also just knowing that when you are in this circumstance that you are it's okay to ask the people around you for help it's okay to connect in whatever way that you need so that those blessings can come through us right sometimes we're the one that god uses to answer people's prayers and in other times sometimes we are the ones who have to ask so that we can receive too leo beautiful energy for you with these adventures we just had your full moon in leo which could have been a powerful shift for you to activate that energy for you to really speak your truth a lot of blue Blue here right a lot of blue here feeling that support but dare to do things differently manifest your travel dreams and move to a new location so this can also mean that maybe you are moving away from home maybe you are moving in a new direction and I feel like that's what's going to be helping you to embrace this new journey to step into this new horizon we got the aurora borealis which is also such a beautiful energy of sh changing lights and colors so really being in this shifting space Space. For some of you, again, there's this need that this new switch or change or new relocation, right? The sacral energy is also about home. It's also about stability and creativity, but it's also about us giving this time when it's talking about nurturing yourself. It's like doing things that are loving for you. And let's see what the tarot wants us to know here. This is the crystal tarot. Let's see what is coming in for my beautiful Leo's. King of Cubs. Okay, who's got? Oh, I'm like, who's got there? It's a surprise. We got the Tower card too. So we have this King of Cups energy. So somebody. Oh wow, this person is very emotionally stable, very balanced. We got one foot on the rock, which is grounded. Then we've got one foot in the water, which is very emotional. He's got the trident here too, so that could be very significant for some of you. And we also have the cup, okay? So he is getting ready to make a love offer, but this person knows. They're very balanced, someone who's very established and secure, and also someone who's very emotionally, my favorite, available. That's a good one. We also have the full moon here too. So for some of you, like I said, that cancer full moon um, maybe could have been significant too for some emotional healing and clearing. Some of you could be cancer Leo Cuspers with the tower card Scorpio energy. There's definitely some kind of expression that is going to surprise you. Perhaps even how much this person is serious about you will surprise you. But this can also talk about that support, right? If you're asking for support and help, this could be someone who's very lovingly um, being there for you. And I feel like it could be after a very surprising situation, a lot of betrayal, a lot of loss. Like this is a very, like almost very graphic card, but very accurate. I feel like when you've been through so much, right? Leo, you are literally the walking heart and when you give your heart you give it completely so any betrayal is not a dramatic ending or end scene it is 
really painful. So it looks like exactly what it looks like. So it's also talking about all the time you've been deceived, all the times that you've kind of just been feeling left alone in the cold. I just want to hug you. Um, but I just want you to know that this is over. Tens are about completion. These cycles are behind you. And many times, like whatever these betrayals and situations were, you didn't even see them coming. You didn't even know. Okay. You didn't even know what to expect. And we also have the Ten of Swords and then we have the Six of Swords. So it's also about letting go and moving away. Like you've, you've, pulled them all out yourself and allowed yourself to embark into this new direction like you did it you saved yourself you are your own hero you participated in your own rescue you're the one who could only do so much and maybe that's why asking for this support for this next level is also going to help you okay so this could have been again a situation from before right surprises with the tower card can also talk about unexpected circumstances so finding out the truth right it always hurts with the five of wands there could have been a lot of competition a lot of fighting um battle of the egos here too with the two lions a lot of um a lot of tough energy leo that's even like the lions right so it's almost like you've been battling your own heart right do i allow someone in do i not allow someone in do i, I want this but i don't want this because i am defensive i like building this wall around your heart building this energy of protection with the nine of wands you've been hurt and you ain't playing even your lions got your back so i feel like you this person is gonna have to put in the work this person's got some really thick walls to come through and i feel like with this light all the way around you it's like you can see anybody from anywhere coming towards you and that's sort of what's what's really really happening happening here is that you're really stepping into this energy of protecting yourself this can also talk about for some of you this could have been a marriage right so this could have been an ending or a separation that happened but this is also leading to something that someone wants something very serious with you and you have to with this card it also talks about either turning to faith turning to god but also turning to a mentor so this can sometimes be getting guidance whether it's spiritual whether it's therapeutic um again the higher fence about learning so maybe it's about learning how to have that stability and security because this this was some kind of trauma this was some kind of abuse for some of us it, it, it manifests in different ways but it's mentally affected you tremendously and because of that you're extra defensive it's totally natural to feel like this so when your safety is questioned and you need to ask for support. So some of you, it's also about so that it can help you come out of that, right? So maybe that's kind of how you meet this person is someone is very compassionate and caring and loving towards you, but you want to be careful, right? Like you're, you're wanting to make sure that this is the right thing or that they're showing you that they're very, um, very much matching your your morals your your visions right we have the death card so for some of you can be an ending or transformation or in order for this growth to happen there's this need to connect with someone who can guide you through this process and it's almost like a revival and i feel like for some of you it's also a revival of faith because whatever your faith or denomination doesn't matter but if you are devoted to the healing journey, to the spiritual journey, to the evolution of your soul and heart, and to understanding that there is more for you and allowing that part and situation to be grieved and to be let go. We also have the ink here too, so that could be significant for you guys. But it's also um, Vita Matar Tur Non Toletur. Forget what that means now it's latin i'll figure it out but um it's like life changes like there's there's this trend like again we're, we're shifting right so it's sort of like there an ending is a new beginning there's this transformation this evolution so again grieving those parts of you will also help this or grieving those losses right because sometimes those shocks and situations being left right for feeling left and alone we don't have anyone around us sometimes this is abandonment issues this is trust issues this is ooh, leo we got deep today um again that's that's maybe being triggered right now 
and the justice card karma balance uh libra energy but also like allowing yourself to move forward we got the scales they're balanced here too it's going to be bringing in this new um truth as well for some of you some of you are going to be speaking your truth in a situation if for any of you this is uh regarding a legal matter um this is definitely getting legal advice or legal help in this so i am really sorry but some of you this could be a divorce especially if the betrayal was with uh, a married couple but however moon card I told you that leo full moon you can't make this stuff up but the leo full moon is really helping you speak your truth and i feel like there was just a lot of stuff that you never did there was a lot of things that happened that some of it you could let go but for some people too i feel like talking about this or coming out about this is going to be a shock to people but this is part of the support of where you are protecting yourself where you are speaking your truth some of you this is again karma um and with this beautiful full moon look at this card though she's surrounded by these wolves it's talking about the evolution and what's really powerful is these are moon lilies these lilies only open at night so they literally like how pansies look at the sun during the day and then they go to sleep during the night these ones come awake at night to literally look at the moon so there's this element of illumination there's this element of transformation and also um, enlightenment right the hierophant is also an enlightenment card where you are truly allowing yourself to be enlightened and be in this beautiful space she's got the two wolves just looking at her We've got more butterflies here too so again a lot of transformations a lot of phases but there's there's levels or there's evolution to this but this month is going to be very powerful and helping you um connect with faith to these new directions now let's see Leo, I'm sorry, this was a little bit longer, right? We have addictions, could be uh, with the devil energy here too. It's it's definitely situations that could have been forbidden, okay? Um, again, that talks about addictions, that talks about a lot, a lot. Letting go of toxic situations, letting go of control, letting go of manipulation, letting go of obsessions, maybe in a way too, sometimes when we're traumatized, you know, like that's why I always like to talk about the PTSD part with this, because when we have those betrayals, you know, that becomes kind of this part of our personality that we don't want in it, but it's our trauma and you can't really let it go because it's, it's, a, it's the consequence of something that happened to you. But until you've come to peace to what happened to you, sometimes you are for, and you integrate these defense mechanisms to keep you safe. But sometimes that's the exact reason why we feel so alone. So part of the justice with the moon card here too, it's about the internal healing, the internal reflection, the internal clearing of this. Let's see what our messages of love are, Leo, for you so we can help. You gotta be kidding me. I'm like, it's true love. <laughs> I don't even know if I can reach that. Bear with me here. Oops. <laughs> I did. Okay, so we have true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And that's what I feel like too, is like this person is challenging a lot of how you feel and how you're feeling because they're they're really trying to come through here as someone who wants to express something for you. And I feel like that's also coming through because they, they know you've been through a lot. So this person is trying to love you through this. This person is really serious. Um, I feel like this this is a new energy. This is a new energy. That's why I feel like whatever has happened in the past. <sighs> release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And then, wow, okay, you can't make this stuff up. We have obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. And forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So truly allowing yourself to really allow this forgiveness and obstacle to be removed, detach with love to clearly see the truth. So denial, we're in denial about circumstances. Maybe you're in denial about being happy or not being happy in your situation. You're gonna know how it resonates for you, but it's also pulling this truth forward so that you can really see what direction you should be going. We have finances. 
financial challenges are affecting this connection so that can be also why you've been really challenged uh you or your person right this is part of where maybe justice is here you need some legal aid in some kind of way for this circumstance and with integrity does this situation align with your values and morals and i feel like that's also why the hierophants here right asking for support asking for help so for some of you this is also like um, getting the support you need so that you can be in this space right so it's realizing a lot a lot of internal awareness a lot of um, needing to protect yourself so that you can see things maybe this is just about also spending some time alone so that you can really come to terms with things because you know what it is that you have to let go and change and transform but dare to do things differently manifest your travel dreams this can also be traveling and move to a new location so for some of you that's part of why you need this help so that you can get this support and assistance to move into a new direction and space and by moving into a new space it's going to change and shift your energy but this could also have to do with finances or not being able to or not being able to accept something so again this person has a very beautiful love for you, has a beautiful intention for you, very um, supportive as well. So I feel like this could be what is going to assist you through this. And for some of you, this is like someone very close to you. Um, this is gonna be helping you through this, but there is abundance, there is beauty to life. There are blessings coming your way, but unfortunately there's a lot of stuff that has to remove those blockages. And since the focus is on your heart and because you've had so much, so much, right? The Ten of Swords is the completion, the ending of a cycle. Uh, of course, you're going to do things differently so you don't find yourself in those situations. Of course, you're going to learn these painful lessons. And because the full moon is here too, I want you to pay close attention to all the shifts that you've had in the past two weeks. And also do check out my Leo meditation that I did as well, guided meditation to help clear and open up some of these chakras. And with this support, please be gentle with yourself. Please take the time that you need. And again, um, get more rest. Maybe sleep is even going to help. Nurturing yourself, take care of yourself, be creative, be also just peaceful. You know, sometimes it's about being in that space of healing. So let Pegasus lead you. Let yourself soar. Um, and I feel like in a different way, right? Because otherwise you've been very sore, very sore. So letting this, this different energy come through so that it can elate you from this. I love you guys. Leos, this was a lot. I hope you're well. I hope you're okay. I hope this helps you. But also it's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay not to do anything about it. So get help, get a mentor, get guidance. Um, this can be with your relationship. This can be with your spirituality. This can be with your healing. This can be a lot of different energies, but also a lot of personal reflections will help bring you into this beautiful justice energy, Libra energy, balanced, peaceful, and also coming to terms. It's a lot of karmas being cleared, which is great. All right, Leos, God bless you. Don't forget to join our beautiful communities and check out my newest events on my website. And for anyone who's dealing with any grief, I also made a new uh, section on my page as well for messages to heaven so that you can actually use that as a safe space to send a love letter to heaven for anyone that you have lost that you would just like a safe space to be able to send a message. It's totally confidential, private and free, but I'm also a psychic medium. So if anything does come through or if perhaps I see you again next time, maybe I'll have a message back. I hope you guys are safe. God bless you and stay strong. You got this. We'll see you really soon. Take care. Goodbye.